was helping to collect money for his local pet sanctuary. This is kind of you, Bernard. How are we doing? Not very well so far. <sighs> oh, dear. Patty was a friend of Bernard's mum, who ran the Greenwoods Pet Sanctuary. She looked after all the animals that no one else wanted. I just had a call about a parrot that's been thrown out for swearing. I'll have to take it in. It all costs money. Where do I find money? Bernard wasn't sure, but he thought she'd probably need a lot more than he had collected so far. Hello, boy. Hi, Grandad. What's a nice dog like that doing here? <laughs> He's a bit mixed up. He's a working dog, but instead of chasing criminals, I'm afraid he prefers to attack the, uh... The police? <laughs> yes. Strange animal. All right. They were all a bit weird or they wouldn't be here. You never said you'd probably have had enough by now. Yes. How's it been going? About three pounds so far. Three pounds? You're going about it all wrong. Grandad always had theories about everything. You need to get people involved. It's not easy with the collection bucket. No, exactly. You have to liven things up a bit. You have to give people something in return. Like, uh, sit all day in a bath of spaghetti hoops. People would like that. You make them pay. Oh, like a sponsor me? Yes. When I was in charge of the regimental Christmas party, I used to play darts to raise money. People used to sponsor me. And the better I did, the more they'd pay. Cool, and you could do it. Play darts? Oh, yes, I used to make a fortune. Oh, you off now? Well, thanks very much. He's been brilliant. I'll let you know how much we collected, but sorry. Someone's found a crested nude. I have to put it in the terrarium. Bernard had had an idea. Could you do that for this place? Sorry? For the sanctuary. What do you mean? Could you organise that dart thing and get lots of money? No, no. Why not? <laughs> it was nearly 50 years ago. I haven't played darts for ages. Not that you ever forget, of course. Patty, my granddad's going to help you. What? What? He's going to play darts and get people to sponsor him for the sanctuary. Hang on. That's unbelievable. Bernard. Go on, Grandad. This is so kind. This is just so kind. Oh, I suppose... Uh... Well, I could book the Lady Bay pub. Well, we'll need sponsor forms. Well, I, I could get leaflets printed. How about next weekend? What could Grandad say? All right, I'll do it. Oh, this is... this is wonderful. Well, I must go and tell the animals. Good. Good. I'm not tramping around the streets, mind. Sorry? I'm too old for it. I'll throw the darts. You organise the sponsors. That's OK. Just get as much money as you can. The next morning, Bernard went round the nearby houses asking people to sponsor Grandad's darts exhibition. Excuse me, would you like to sponsor my Grandad? He's doing a special darts exhibition for the animal sanctuary. Hello, we're trying to raise money for the Greenwood Pet Sanctuary. Mm -hmm. Thanks. There were a lot of forms to hand out. So he thought he'd use his magic watch to stop time when he was just walking. And only started again when he reached the next house. Good morning, sir. We're trying to raise money for the Greenwood Pet Sanctuary. With the help of his watch, Bernard had delivered all the forms in no time at all. It was very hard work. Hello, Bernard. Hi, Louise. But that wasn't the end of it. Not only had the forms got to be delivered, but collected in again when they'd been signed a few days later. Still, if Grandad was half as good as he said, the sanctuary was going to make a lot of money. You see, that's nice. That's your friend, not eat. You show Bernard how good you are. No! Bad dog, come here! Give me that arm! Well, he's getting better. Last time he ate it as well. Still, I won't be able to keep training him if we don't find some money soon. Don't worry, Grandad will do that. I hope so. I've spoken to the Lady Bay pub. They booked him in for Saturday night. Did you have any luck? All complete. 
Bernard, that's wonderful. That must have taken you ages. Not really. And how is your granddad? Is he all ready for his darts throwing? The evening before his show, Grandad finally got down to some practice. Right. Perfect. First bullseye. First bullseye. Right. Oh, mustn't rush, mate. Uh, let's have another number. Ten. Any number. Ten's fine. Are you sure? Yes. Ten. Oh. These darts aren't up to much. Why don't you try standing a bit nearer? What? Just to get started. Oh, these chalks aren't up to much. It's the dartboard! While Grandad was practicing in the garage, Bernard sat watching television. Except he wasn't really watching. He was thinking about Grandad. Supposing he'd forgotten how to play. Supposing he never hit the dartboard again. It was very worrying. You were right. I moved closer and it made all the difference. Grandad, wouldn't these help? Where'd you find these? <laughs> of course, no wonder. I can't believe I even attempted to play without these. It's Bernard. I can see everything. Come on, I'll take you home, and then I'll come back and have some sneaky practice before tomorrow. The next evening, Grandad and Bernard arrived at the pub. Did you manage to get your sneaky practice in then, Grandad? Well, oh, yes, I'm part of the night. Did you remember your glasses? Glasses? Oh. Give me a key, Grandad. I'll go and get them for you. There's not time. Bernard knew he could make time. I'll get them. You can't play without them. Perhaps we should cancel. Bernard knew they couldn't do that. Not after all the sponsorship he'd managed to get. Give me the key. Wait here. Bernard. back. Is something wrong? No. Oh. You should be starting. Grandad didn't look happy. Yes, look Bernard. Don't worry, you're going to be brilliant. I'm not so sure. You've got your glasses, what else do you need? Bernard, there's something I... Mr Foster! Come in! <laughs> Isn't it exciting? We're really relying on you, Mr Foster. It's... So good of you. You'll be fine, really. I saw the dartboard in the garage. Three darts in the bullseye. If you've done it once, you could... I was trying to cheer myself up. I stuck him in by hand. Grandad was making Bernard a bit worried. Perhaps his practice hadn't gone too well after all. May I now introduce the man who is going to save the sanctuary, Mr. Foster! Grandad got a great reception, which made him feel even worse. Mr. Foster is going to give us a special darts exhibition this evening. Well, as you all know, we've all sponsored him for every bullseye he can score. So, well, without further ado, let's get started and see how much money we can raise. Just warming up. Bernard felt terrible. Whatever he might have been years ago, 
It was clear Grandad was no darts player now. Now, uh, let's have that bullseye. If only Grandad could just stick the darts in the bullseye like he did in the garage and... Maybe I could... Shh. Throw it, Grandad, just throw it. Everyone was watching Grandad, so no one noticed Bernard take out his watch and click it. It was wonderful. Now, another of those. And for the rest of the evening, Bernard worked away with his watch, dart after dart, hitting the exact right spot. Three, three in a row! Granddad was a big success. In a row. Amazing how it all comes back. Well done. Oh, yes, I remember. My party trick. And before Bernard could stop him, Granddad had thrown the three darts at once. Granddad! Trust yourself, don't you? I think you do. He seems to be calming down quite well, as long as we don't mention the P-O-L-I-C-E. And now he can stay till we find him a nice home, where he won't run into too many you-know-whats. What? P-O-L-I-C-E. P-O-L... Oh, right. Oh, and this is the parrot I was telling you about. Ah. Well, he's only been here a couple of days, and already he's starting to use much better language. <laughs> uh, it's just wonderful. Shut up, Molly. Thank you both very much. It was Grandad's. No, I just threw the darts. He did all the hard work. Well, it's the most money we've ever raised for the sanctuary. Thank you. It's a pleasure. Anytime. <laughs> Do you mean that? Could I ask you again next year? Do, please. <laughs> no! He said please, not police! <laughs> Now all Bernard had to do was work out a way to save Grandad. He was afraid it might take a bit of time. <laughs> 